there is a responsibility, I think, for influencers and celebrities to disclose when they're being paid for something because honesty is so important and the internet and these people that are watching our content, they trust us. Hey guys, Natasha from Forbes here and we're back with a brand new episode of The Business of Influence. This week, we're talking about disclosure and how influencers do and don't disclose when they're being paid to promote a product or a post. Warning letters are being sent out to those not following the rules, but are there really any consequences? I would agree with not saying it's sponsored, um, especially if it's, a, if it's an account I'm following. When I do see that it's sponsored, I kind of have this preconceived notion that, okay, this is clearly a paid thing, like I'm gonna kind of ignore this, because I, I, I ignore it almost like I ignore an ad. I think it is good to know when people are being paid to do something, so then you can see what their genuine actions are, but I also think that there's so much advertising going on anyway, it may necessarily, like I personally don't care. I think people should always know what's sponsored and what's not sponsored. Like if it's literally, if it says like hashtag ad at the bottom, or if they like tag a certain company, but then I don't know if it's like they're tagging them just so that they'll like end up sending them free stuff, or if they're tagging them to say like, I'm being endorsed by you. My role at the FTC is to direct the Division of Advertising Practices, which generally oversees national advertising. Whenever you're looking at what someone says about a product, whether it's an online review or even just your friend telling you what they thought about it, you want to know where they're coming from and if they have been paid or incentivized in some way to promote the product, then that's going to affect how much weight or credibility you give what they say. I think it's become a really big thing for social media influencers to be more transparent because there were some really big scandals recently about people who were promoting, promoting like certain gambling websites without saying they were affiliated with them. So the FTC just says that influencers need to make it clear to their audience when they're working with a brand or being paid. We don't say exactly how you have to do that, but we have said that it could be done in a diff all sorts of different ways. They can say, I'm working with this brand or I'm partnering with this brand, or they can just say ad or sponsored, or if they want to use a hashtag ad, you know, in something like Twitter where space is limited, that's only three characters, so that works too. So actually last year the FTC settled a case with Lord & Taylor where Lord & Taylor wanted to promote its new spring collection. So they entered into contracts with 40 different influencers who had large followings on Instagram and they agreed with all of these influencers that they would post pictures of themselves wearing a certain dress all on the same weekend. They called it a product bomb and the dress sold out, but none of them disclosed that they were working with Lord & Taylor. So we thought that was really misleading because people need to know that these are actually being paid. Those are paid posts, they're not just organic. It's kind of weird because in the early days, like we didn't want people to know that we were getting paid to promote something. And now I'm proud that I'm working with this brand. So I feel like there's been a shift in that. So if I'm working with someone, like I want everyone to know, hey, I'm working on Xbox on this really fun thing. Look at this cool thing they sent me. And in doing that, you are being honest. And I've seen so many posts still to this day that people are posting. I was like, this is an ad. And there's no ad. Like all you have to do is at least add the hashtag ad so that I don't feel like we're being lied to. I find it to be that they're always changing. Now there's talk of like putting a hashtag ad in the front of the copy. What's the point of being like, this is an ad? It's the same thing that when we do advertorials in like magazines and online and you immediately skip past it, all you're doing is letting people know that you should skip past this. But I don't agree because just because I get paid to talk about a product I use a lot doesn't mean you shouldn't like listen to that. The FTC's first goal in the influencer ecosystem is to make sure that everybody understands their legal obligations. That is, what they have to do to comply with the law, to be truthful and not misleading. So the responsibility for disclosing relationships between brands and influencers lies with both the brand and the influencer. The brand should tell all the influencers that it's working with that they need to disclose but the influencers have to make the disclosure themselves because they're the ones that are posting. So if we discover that some influencers who we've sent educational letters to and warning letters to and are continuing to work with brands and not disclosing that, then the next logical step for us would be to open an investigation, a law enforcement investigation. That's it for this episode. What do you think? Should there be consequences for not following the FTC guidelines? 
Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of The Business of Influence.